Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Piku Niku. This game came out in 2019, and it's a uh, bright and colorful 2D puzzle platformer. We're here because, uh, well, frankly, I felt like I could use something cheery after playing through The Evil Within 2. Don't get me wrong, it's a great game and I had a good time with it. But, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I need something that doesn't have grotesque monsters and gruesome death animations in it. You know? <laughs> Before we begin... Uh, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Hopefully we all have a good time. Now, without further ado, Let's play Piku Niku. Hello. Psst. Come closer. I'm gonna give you something. Guess what? Free money! Yes! You heard me right! I'm going to give you money! For free! Free money! Let me tell you how it works. You probably have a lot of junk in your town. It takes up a lot of space! I'll send my robots to your town, and they will collect all the useless stuff. And you don't have to do anything. Heck, they'll even give you money for it. Free money! Still don't trust me? Well, trust this guy! Trust me, it's free money. See? I told you! So next time you see one of my giant robots flying over your town, let them work peacefully. And I'll make you rich in no time. Until then, take care and remember, you are perfect. Sunshine Incorporated, a better world awaits. Uh... Oh no, he just did it. Hello? Oh cool, you're finally awake. Can you move? Uh... Okay, so uh... I've noticed that this game doesn't seem to have anything by way of a tutorial. But here's what I've discovered so far. A is jump. X is this little kick, which I'm not sure whether it's an attack or just a push. Uh, B makes you do this. And you can hold it down to roll around as like a pill. Am I right side up or not? I'm not. And I guess Y is the talk to people button. Since it was what I was using to move those dialogues along. Nice. I'm sorry I woke you up. You've been sleeping for a long time. I think it's time for some fresh air. Okay, just the two. So you're leaving. I can't go outside. I'm a ghost. It would kill me. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. My full moral support. 
I am sorry, I'm a ghost. I don't have much to give you. If you're curious, this is... Uh, I used the other uh, reply in my testing, and this is what he said. <laughs> so I quite enjoy that. That was so redundant an answer. So here's what I've discovered so far. I can duck down here. Oh, the guy is gone. Actually, I can just get in here like this, huh? Oh! Oh, I can, it seems I can crouch by holding down. I'm not really good at doing that without walking yet. Uh, by the way, I might have... I think I mentioned it towards the end of The Evil Within 2, but... Uh, this is the first proper Let's Play I've done using uh, my new... I guess they just call it an Xbox controller. Rather than my trusty wired Xbox 360 controller. So there's a platform up there, and if I walk in this direction... I don't know what makes him do that. Oh, this is silly. There's this uh, little bedroom, and you now have the sum, you now share my sum total of knowledge of uh, Piku Niku. Oh, <laughs> I like that, the, uh, the bright pink patterned uh, ghost sheet. Oh. Although the merest movement here, like turning around does this. So he takes at least three steps to turn around. Hey there. Uh, this big rock seems a bit fragile. Maybe you can try kicking it? Wish I had nice legs like yours. But I'm not complaining. Being a ghost is nice, too. Were you just, like, born a ghost? I mean, I'm not judging. I just find that very interesting. Oh, and I found this. That was I forgot about this. So that is a thing. Is he just gonna follow me around for the entire game? Because I don't have a pro or, or you know, whatever. Kind of hard to uh, assess the gender of a ghost, and I'm not sure it matters whether or not they have one. Hmm. But um, you're just gonna follow me this entire time because I'm okay with that. Or are you like the tutorial guy? Oh, goodness, that's a lot of height. Oh, now I'm damp. Oh, right, I did that earlier, so, uh, yeah. Oh, I can make myself sink, okay. That's an important thing to note for a platformer. Oh, 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 jeez, oh. I'm pretty sure I just move the, the, the main body through space, and the legs just sort of procedurally catch up. Sorry, I thought that was, like, a background element. Sup? Be careful here, the ground seems easily breakable. Uh. Hey! I d Oh, okay, fine. That is just gonna be, like, a one or you're done thing, you know? I've heard of one and done, not one or done. This is new to me. I think you're good to go. Good luck out there. Be careful. And send me postcards. Oh. That's what that looks like. But I felt like there was some space, uh, in that direction. Oh boy, gesturing is gonna be fun in this game.
No! Oh. Okay. No, wait, that looked way, 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 way shorter, didn't it? Or it's the trick, it's one of those only in one direction things, where it goes, yeah, okay. Maybe I can move this rock over there and use that. Can I hold it? I don't think it makes a difference. Aha! I don't know who or what I am, but... You know. At least I'm getting the hang of being whatever this is. And that pink guy was more or less the same shape, with just two legs and a body, so, you know. The objective, where are you? Hello, world! Are you ready to party? Warning! Do not open this door. The beast sleeps ahead. Am I the beast? Let's climb the mountain. Fuck it. I don't know what I'm doing. Candlestick. Okay. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I can't even fathom how a candlestick would help in that situation. You don't set plants on fire to make them blossom. Oh, that's what that means. The, the jaggedy wall there. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh, it's a tiny man. Yeah, bust a move, man. Okay, I'm communing with nature. Or something. So also mentioned that in addition to this new uh, Xbox controller, I guess they just call it that because it's compatible with both the X-Bone and the Xbox Sex. And now that I said both of those things together again, I suddenly wonder if the uh, marketing team at Microsoft is uh, headed up by Scabrus Scrotus. Because it's a very phallic society. But, um, in addition to this being the first one on a new controller, this is uh, the first proper Let's Play I've done with a game from the Epic Store, rather than, you know, Steam or Uplay or what have you. It's not the first thing I've done with either of those things, because I actually uh, did a little subtle test of uh, the, both of those things at the same time with my, uh... Videos on the long dark at Christmas, so I can talk to the birds. Hi! Sup. Hello. Good morning! Well, at least the birds are polite. And if I'm the beast, they don't know that, so... Hey! How are you? Good, good! Just chilling in the field. What of the scarecrow? Good, keep on chilling. Seriously? Looks more scared than I am. <laughs> yeah? What's up? I keep looking straight out at the camera. Good, keep on chilling. Thanks, see you around. I'm in a tree. I'm not quite used to this new controller yet. I think the sticks are more sensitive than on the 360 controller. And I feel like something with lo controls this loose is something, you know, good to get used to it with, if that makes any sense. Oh, God. Oh, right. Well, let's see down here. Nothing. You know, like, I feel like, you know, maybe I'm judging too early, but I don't feel like there's going to be any parts of this game that require me to, uh, <laughs> use extremely precise maneuvering. Corn, 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 corn. Oh. Why am I crouching? I swear I just heard a noise. Going from the fields? Yeah, don't worry, it's probably just the birds. I don't know, it sounded pretty snappy. Like. The sound of the beasts coming to eat you? Pfft. Now 
joke about it. It could be lurking in the fields, ready to jump as we turn around. Whoa. Hey, relax. Nobody has ever seen the beast. It probably doesn't even exist. Let's go back to the village. <laughs> I love that. Hiding behind a stalk of corn. I'm, uh, I don't think I'm actually a beast. I'm going to be kind of annoyed with myself if I didn't look deeply into it enough, and this game is actually just adorable carrion. The beast! It's the beast! Ah! Do something! Oh, wow. Nice job. The beast is awake! Ah! 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 Up. It doesn't look ferocious at all. I thought it would be bigger. But it broke our bridge! Beast! Why are you here? I'm going to eat you all! I don't know why I'm here. Oh. Okay. Makes no sense. It's like the pink one is still terrified. Oh, there we go. I don't understand. You don't look very frightening. I mean, no offense, but aren't you supposed to be gigantic and mighty? What am I supposed to be? Hmm, that's weird. I think we should free it. Yeah, I don't think it's a threat. Doesn't look like a beast to me. Well, okay, we're gonna set you free, but you still did break our bridge. Will you help us repair it if you open the cage? I'll see what I can do. Okay, good. Let's know when you fixed our bridge. Okay. Hello. Okay, the fly is keeping pace with me. That's interesting. So, so you're the beast, huh? That's very different from what we pictured from the story. I said uh instead of a because there should be a question mark after it. Mind you, they don't even capitalize any of the sentences here, so... This is a very la grammar lax land. You look very different from what we pictured from the story. What story? The story of the beast! Basically, it's just a monster living in the mountain. It has been transmitted through generations, and no one really knows its origins. Oh. What did you picture? Oh. I don't know. Giant? Hairy? Full of teeth? Oh, oops, sorry. I didn't realize that you were, uh... Yeah, my only, uh, uh, my only friend was non-tangible, so... Oh, yeah. Mmm, bust a move. Alright, Fly, where are you leading? Hello. Why do I keep staring at the camera? It's very, very unsettling. Oh, I see. He only doesn't stare at the camera when there's someone next to him. Oh, that's not weird at all. Hmm. My eyes half closed. You look a bit like the beast from the legend. Maybe it's you after all. Scram, monster! Oh, now I'm sad. I think. I was told to keep my door closed when the beast is around. You know, that's probably good advice. Let's face it. Yes. What? No! Shit, I fucked that up. Alright, I'll wait. Like a good beast. I have just realized I haven't the slightest idea how I'm going to get back if I jump out of this and it goes back up. Okay, cool. touch the wall. There could be invisible walls, or... What, what's the opposite of invisible walls? Illusionary walls. Okay, this is happening. Apples. I noticed the thing went up, though, so I appear to be hosed. I just live here now. 
Oh. Did I do that somehow? I don't think I pushed a button. Bring me back up to the world, thank you. I return from the depths. I'm in a tree. I treed myself. I don't seem to, well, I don't have any arms or anything, so... Hello. Thank you, fly. Oh, why hello there. Oh, hi. Why'd you wake me up? I need to repair that bridge. Hmm. Did you break that bridge? Yes. Well, why did you break it in the first place? Fix your own damn mistakes. <laughs> oh, hi. Why'd you wake me up? I need to repair that bridge. No. Well, if you were a spider, which I happen to be, you could probably fix it with one of those sweet spider webs. But you're obviously not, so good luck with that. Okay. Don't ever do that again! <laughs> they say that spider silk is, for its size, uh, stronger than steel. Sorry. My sincerest apologies, my little friend. I won't ever do that again. I think. I'm helping! The beast repaired the bridge! Blue Grimace seems really surprised by all this. You did repair the bridge! We owe you an apology. We thought you were a ruthless monster, but you seem pretty okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Feel free to stay as long as you want in our village. I think our painter is struggling with something. Maybe you can go see what's wrong? Well, I might not know who I am, but I do know one thing. One. When I was getting some vital info on this game, so that I wouldn't sound like a moron in doing my intro, I uh, learned that the protagonist's name is Piku. I still don't understand the title, but I'm just gonna go with it, because I feel like that is the wise thing to do in this game. Maybe I can use the D-pad. Well, then I wouldn't get used to the sticks. Okay, fine. I'm in here now. Oh, the music gets muffled. I like... wait. What? That's the opposite of what's supposed to happen. The wind turns the big blades and the big turny crank makes a, uh, a thing inside the thing rotate. That's, you know, grinding up grain and stuff. Why? <laughs> Why is it backwards? Why is it your job to make this thing spin? Oh, oh hey. Where am oh. I? You're in the old mill. We used to make flour and bread from our crops here. Told you so. But since the Sunshine Incorporated robots started collecting our crops, we don't really use this mill anymore. I had a feeling. I heard they're giving away free money in exchange, but I'm too busy pumping out these legs anyway. I just noticed how good muscular his legs are. Oh. Anything else? What are you doing? Getting some killer legs for the Bass Kick Championship. The Bass Kick Championship? You don't know about Bass Kick? It's our local sport here. We should talk to its creator. She lives right next to the mill. Anything else? Bye. Take care. Well, I guess we're going to talk to the creator of Bass Kick. I just realized that's what this poster says. Uh, in the next episode of... Uh, Let's play Piku Niku. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I think the premiere episode has gone pretty well. I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans, and until then, remember, you are perfect. Later!